Hey guys, Cody with CJC Off-Road, and today we have another customer building the shop. Instead of showing you guys what we typically do, a stock truck and then taking it to a modified uh, carly suspension built truck, today we're going to take a what is a customer's dream build and show you how to perfect it. So this customer um, did some research, took his truck to a couple of shops, and he bought what he thought was the best of the best. Common internet myth is a coilover setup paired with a long arm is going to be the best riding system out there for your diesel truck. Um, and as we've expounded upon in a lot of different videos, proper shock tuning, um, geometry, things like that go a lot further than, than just the buzzwords of long arms or coilovers. So yeah, this customer, he built his dream truck. He wants to have this thing for a long time. So he told the, whatever shop he took it to and go to town. So they did a long arm kit, coilover kit, soft ride leaf springs, airbags, and the truck ended up here because the customer absolutely hates how it rides. His goal is to just do something a little bit better. Um, if you look in the wheel well, you can instantly tell where there's a little bit of an issue. A coilover system really is not the best uh, design system when put on a truck that is designed around a separate coil and shock. So what I mean by that is, as you can see, the coilover bolts into some existing mounts, uses an aftermarket upper mount, but still with that setup, there is very minimal suspension travel, which is insane considering the truck is lifted from factory eight inches. So yeah, there's really not a whole lot of movement with these systems. Um, so many people argue on the internet, why don't you use a coilover? And then if you even look at this system, I believe that's even a 2.0 coilover. So the actual shock piston surface area where you could actually do some custom tuning is uh, highly limited and a system with a bigger shock and separate coil will ride better as we will show you guys. So we're gonna take this truck for a drive and show you exactly what this customer is talking about and why the ride quality is so bad. All right, so I know a lot of you are gonna ask, you know, or even comment, hey, dummy, look at the tires on this truck. Those are not built for ride quality. And we're gonna address that. The tire, the tire conversation in regards to ride quality, that's gonna be a small bump compliance. So right now you can kind of see my head bouncing around just driving on a flat road. That's gonna be the tires. The suspension um, can't be so soft that they can absorb small impacts on the street. The biggest thing that you're gonna notice with a setup like this, um, it's just going over dips and things like that. There's absolutely very minimal suspension movement allowed by a design like this. And that is where a system uh, that is designed to fully travel up and down will dramatically help just your felt ride quality on the road. So, so many guys say, hey, I don't jump my truck. I don't Baja my truck. Why would I want those King shocks, things like that? It's not so much in regards to needing to be able to jump the truck. It's the fact that the suspension can actually go all the way up and all the way down without issue. So right here, we're about to just hit two dips. These are your standard neighborhood dips. Um, we're doing a whopping 30 miles an hour. Um, and uh, the rear feels like there's zero suspension. Um, and the front, the front, you know, you're still, it, it's a very quick bottom out feel. And now we're at a stop sign with two follow-up dips after that. So again, there's really no suspension movement. You know, I think that those dips we are doing uh, 20 miles an hour or something like that. There's really not much movement to a system like that. So yeah, as, as you may have caught, these are actually Fox coilover shocks. So, uh, so many people ask, hey, I already have Fox shocks on my truck. I already have King shocks. Why does it ride so bad? Um, most of the secret sauce or the recipe is actually gonna be in the tuning. Getting a shock package that is tuned to match the springs, the weight of the truck, you know, the handling of the truck is huge. So that's why Carly, they take a Fox shock as well as a King shock in the different sizes and they actually do custom tuning. So these aren't the King shocks or Fox shocks that you would get off like one of the big box brands online, Amazon, whoever. These are actually a Carly suspension tuned shock package. And that is really a lot of the um, secret sauce or the recipe on why these systems ride so good. You know, we very often see guys arguing on the internet, even in our comments to our videos, you need just coilovers, long arms, that's gonna be the fix to good ride quality. That is definitely, you know, as you can see, that is not the case. And there are better setups out there. Um, if you can afford them, I know the system we're putting on this truck is not a cheap system, but for a customer like this who does want to uh, own this truck for a very long time and kind of build his final dream truck, um, these suspensions are worth every penny. So yeah, we're pulling up to the shop right now. Uh, we're gonna get this kit pulled off. We'll show you a couple cool clips along the way of the installation. And uh, then we will take it right back over the same dips and show you guys just how you know, rough a system, as you can see just right there pulling in the driveway, how rough a system like this can be. Um, so with that, we are actually going to option this truck with a Carly 3.0 six inch height dominator system. Uh, in our opinion, this is the softest riding six inch system out there for these trucks. Um, that truck or year range that we're talking about is the 03 to 12 trucks. This is not the 14 or newer radius arm trucks.
Before we get too many comments about the cost of the suspension versus the cost of the suspension to replace, I just want to note something. Um, starting in the six inch line from Carly suspension, you have the backcountry system. I believe that kit is in the $4,000 range. Um, as I stated, this customer, he wanted to build his dream truck, so he really did not hesitate in what he spent. So he went for the fully optioned, you know, King 3.0 Dominator setup. With that said, the improvement that you're gonna get from like the Carly six inch kit versus other kits is gonna be there just as much on the backcountry kit all the way up to this kit. So uh, before we get some of those hateful comments that we get on some of these videos, um, that is my disclaimer. So yeah, let's dive on into the parts on the front end of this truck. So immediately, again, you will notice the King 3.0 shocks. These are absolutely massive, gigantic King shocks. They are custom tuned by Carly Suspension with their own pistons, stainless steel shock shafts, things like that. So they are an upgraded King shock. Pair that up with the soft rate coils that Carly has. Uh, again, the front end ride. Also, geometry wise, you have these radius arms, right? So it is that kind of trifecta that you see on the front end of this truck that makes it ride so well. The geometry of these radius arms is designed specifically around these kits. Um, so many of the other brands out, brands out there, they will use um, the same long arm kit or same radius arm kit from four inch, six inch, eight inch, 10 inch, things like that. So there's really not much done or much thought given to get, making sure the geometry is 100% correct. So yeah, the uh, customer also went with the upgraded torch and sway bar, which we've covered in so many videos before. It's just that cherry on top on the front end ride. It cuts down the side to side rocking, things like that. Uh, and yeah, the front end of this truck, as you will see in these videos, is gonna be dramatically different than the front end that came in on it. One of the key things about these arms that is so much better than a lot of the other brands out there is actually the joints, right? So a lot of other brands, um, you have a just basic rubber bushing uh, with a rolled sleeve. So you'll notice it actually has a seam in it. It's not even a, a, a simple machined piece. It's just like a, a bent over a mandrel piece, um, you know, and then these bushings, if you can kind of sit yourself in the center of the truck with four arms going down, the bushings of the truck, every time the axle needs to go, that bushing is twisting, right? So put in a radius arm with a, a spherical Johnny joint, like the Carly joint, um, you actually can get a lot more or a lot freer movement in, in any uh, aspect of the truck, right? Straight up and down, uh, driveways or one side of the wheels, things are moving like that. So the joints um, just are gonna allow for a lot more movement and then longevity. So every time with a standard bushing on your Ram truck, every time the axle travels different side to side, that bushing has to, to twist. So you're just slowly taking the life out of the bushings and eventually you will have to rebuild the bushings. With a Johnny joint, you know, you pretty much aren't gonna have to rebuild it ever. And so the longevity of this system is gonna be a lot longer than most of the other brands out there. So the rear end definitely is not as complicated as the front end. This customer went with a full progressive spring pack. They are custom built by Deaver Spring here in Anaheim, California to Carly suspension specs. Pair that up with the custom tuned King 3.0 rear shocks. Again, stainless steel shock shafts, Carly's own pistons, their own tuning, things like that. The rear end of this truck is uh, gonna be light years better than it as it came in. Um, this customer opted to maintain his original um, airbag system, which with a cradle system we were able to, to keep. Um, we did not need to put him into the Carly long travel airbag setup, which is an awesome setup. But if you are looking to save a few bucks and already have airbags on your truck, uh, it is definitely not a cost you have to endure. So yeah, the rear end of this truck, super simple, yet super smooth and works extremely well. So now that we have everything installed, let's take this thing for a test drive and try to capture it as best we can on camera, the improvement of this new system over the old system. Immediately right off the bat, you do notice a little bit more small bump compliance. Again, as we mentioned, um, the previous wheel and tire combination just did not bode itself well to good ride quality going over dips and things like that. Um, just like that manhole we cover we just drove over um, with the previous wheel and tire setup, that would actually make a physical difference in the cab. Um, so this setup does, you know, automatically just with better wheel and tire combination help over stuff like that. Now we're gonna go over the same dips that we went over before. Um, I believe we were actually even five miles an hour faster than before and uh, much, much smoother. You know, the, the back setup basically had no suspension movement to it. Um, it basically wanted to toss you out of your seat. With this setup, you know, you can hit these dips without issue. Uh, as you can see right here, low speed is even improved. Um, all around a setup like this, uh, just with more suspension travel and a custom tuned shock package is gonna ride a lot, lot better than uh, a non-tuned coilover long arm setup. 
uh, any of those bu buzzwords that aren't really uh, tuned to work together, you're gonna run into all kinds of issues with those setups. So as you can tell from the video, uh, the difference in these two systems is dramatic, right? One brand is marketed as the premium brand, while another brand is actually the premium brand. So again, uh, quality joints, quality shock tuning, um, just an overall you know, better system, not kind of universal components, really does all compound to make the best riding system out there uh, at this height. Um, and again, the price argument, I know we're gonna get some comments, uh, we're aware. Uh, however, this customer with those uh, Fox 2.5s and everything that came off this truck, the actual bills from shop to shop weren't actually that much uh, different, right? Because instead of trying to cobble in a bunch of other parts to try to get the ride a little bit better, the Carly system is a cohesive system System. So it's kind of the buy once, cry once principle. Once you do get that good system on there, um, you never have to worry about it. There's no improvement. There's no, will this ride good? Uh, I can guarantee you it will ride better than the other systems out there. So yeah, any questions, things like that, comment down below. Um, I think this truck turned out excellent. We're super thankful for our customer who allowed us to use it for the video. Uh, we wish we could get more off-road footage for you guys. However, with customer trucks, rock ships, things like that, it is really tough um, to beat on customer trucks. That's why so many times off-road you see us using our own trucks only. But yeah, thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you liked the video. If you would like to see any videos in the future, please leave a comment down below and uh, we're trying to make these videos as fast as we can. Thanks for watching.